Hey guys, welcome to Fighting Spirit Mania. This is going to be from set to game four between Seriosity and Striker. Striker, one game away from locking up another set. And thus far, Seriosity has put up a good fight, but has not pulled out a game. Upper right hand corner, we have Seriosity starting as the red Protoss. Bottom right corner, we have Striker starting as the blue Zerg. And in, I will reiterate that because we have some newer viewership out in the Twitch world. Uh, Fighting Spirit Mania is... I like the meta-ness of it because Brood War has been around forever. People who are fans of Brood War are like diehard fans. And it just, it's kind of, yeah, the, the, the years go on and on, right? And Fighting Spirit was in the map pool forever. It was kind of the complaint of a lot of people there. It's a balanced map, but people were kind of happy to see it go because it just was there for absolutely forever. Um, but Fighting Spirit round one, so every round is a best of seven of best of sevens. As far as I know, I'm not. Maybe the finals, the best of nine, a best of nine. Who knows? But uh, a bunch of games, so it's almost a marathon tournament, as much as anything. And it's also double elimination. So if you get knocked down to the losers bracket, you also have to uh, do the best of seven down there too. So you get opportunities to make it through the match. So essentially, in theory, the absolute best winner wins. Because you have opportunities to adjust and improve between the various sets. So if a player ends up losing the first three sets, but then adapts and goes into the fourth, you know, the next four sets and wins all of those, there's still a way to turn it around. Seeing a nine pool, by the way, for Striker. And we are seeing a Forge opener for Seriosity. It's been his play all the way around. It looks like he's going to get Last Scout this time. Sending out another probe, actually, to just get an early scout. I think he really wants to get the early Nexus down if he can. This time it would be foolhardy to do so because of that nine pool. Drone is going to go ahead and walk up, get first scout for Striker, of all of that Overlord making its way across there. Natural expansion now on the way. Looks like it's just going to be four, or just two Zerglings initially with this build. And it looks like Seriosity is putting down a preventative cannon because he doesn't know what's in those eggs. And uh, at least a cannon. He's going to play it from there. The Second probe scout going to move, return home, but that delays mining. The more mining you lose earlier in the game, the more it has a cascade effect later into the game. About a two, 225 gas being grabbed there. The probe trying to hide. Ooh, look at that. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. Going to go ahead and hide behind that pylon to maybe get a later scout. Striker setting up to go ahead and grab this 6 o'clock third. And Seriosity, is he up to shenanigans? He's got that probe still moving across this 3 o'clock. I guess he's sending in another probe scout. Try to distract from that potential. Looks like a Zergling went ahead and attack moved in there. And this probe going to go ahead and move. He's losing a lot of mining time with some of these probe shenanigans. Gateway alongside. This is... I'm not positive, but I believe this is the more typical front door wall. I'm not going to say that definitively. But, I don't know. This wall... I feel more confident about this wall somehow. Forge a little bit towards the front gateway. A little bit might be a little bit more exposed to 973, unless like some cannons get anyway. We'll see how things play out. Currently, Lair being morphed. And I believe that probe saw it. So Seriosity has less to worry about in the Hydralis bus category. Cybernetics core warping in behind this. Nexus coming online. Feels a bit I don't know, feels later than usual. And pretty decent drone saturation. Nothing too crazy happening as of yet. I am curious to see if Striker or if Seriosity is going to try to skip the Stargate this time. It feels like he just wants to really sneak these probe scouts out to get them alive out in these bases. It looks like one of them finally, yeah, that Zergling finally able to get. Is it blood with probes? What do what what courses through probes veins or machinery? Able to strike probe electricity? Do the Protoss work on electricity? They. It's like the Kala, right? Do the probes work on the Kala as well? Something like that? I feel like I'm... Maybe I'm saying, like, Protoss insults right now. I don't even know. Grouping of Zerglings patrolling between the third. I think still trying to capture or anticipate some forces. It looks like the Zealot is walking in there. Striker seeing it as that Overlord was there overhead. There's four Zerglings easily going to be able to engage right there. Striker trying to dive in behind the lines, but the Zergling's able to get good group formation. Actually getting a... I'm trying to exchange them. 
So, Zealot's wiped out, but he was able to take out three Zerglings. The second Zealot trying to walk in and create some disruption here. Maybe get a drone kill. Does get a drone kill at the very least. Is he going to get a second? Does not manage to get a second kill. However, a third Zealot streaming out. So, Seriosity, I almost feel like he's donating Zealots at this stage. Especially because that last one, he, he's not forcing any additional Zerglings to be produced. At the very least, maybe distracting Striker. The Zerglings try to hunt that Zealot down in open field. Seriosity finding a pocket, but he is, oof, unfortunately, yeah, going to get engaged wholesale on either side. So only gets a single Zergling for his efforts, not the exchanges he's looking for. Pylon warping in. In the meantime, Spire just about finished for Striker, and I do not believe that Seriosity has eyes on it just yet. Now, this is going to be a four hatchery build. So four hatchery at the six o'clock location. Pylons preventatively warping in. This is one of the, and it looks like we do are, are seeing a Templar Archives and a gateway for more, and we, we've had that second simulator up for a while for more gas heavy build. This Overlord potentially, could, it looks like actually the Corsair gonna ignore it, gonna maybe do an exchange situation. These Scourge out in the air, unfortunately, oh! Whew. Seriosity got lucky there that Striker wasn't quite on top of it. So it's gonna be six hatcheries, two additional Scourge being produced. And an evolution chamber. I'm looking to see. Now, here's the thing: is this going to be a swap, or is this just going to be six hatch mutilisk? Tends to be uh, an expensive build, but there are three gas to work with. And with that, if you basically see that corsair fleet at any point end up smaller than it should be, or if you can build up and just get overwhelming amount of mutilisk, you can just crush down on your opponent suddenly. But I do believe we are going to see a lap over to six hatch hydralis because we do have that level one spines being upgraded. Two more zealots marching forward. Zerglings, I think they might have missed it. And with everything kind of boxed in, so the mules are out. They will they will help against the zealots. But without the zerglings on the ground, it looks like there's already a sunken colony here at the six, a sunken colony there at the natural expansion, which is wise because it takes forever for mutalisks to work through zealots. However. We'll see how much damage can get done. So Seriosity able to somehow, behind these Zergling lines on patrol, sneak through. A Dark Templar able to get out an open field. Looks like there's a Dark Templar grouped here as well. Hydral Sten here at the 6 o'clock. Nice reaction there on Striker's part. The Zelt's trying to get on top of that Sunken Colony. The Zergling is there, and the Mutalus is able to very quickly respond. So nice defense by Striker. And the High Templar, wow, just as an afterthought. Just getting blasted off the face of this planet. What planet? Fighting spirit planet, I guess. Third gas now up. Yet another hatchery. So now we are at Phenomenized Carapus on the way as well. But now, Mutalisks and Scourge diving forward to see what they can go ahead and pick off. And there's a lot of exposed territory here. Cannon just warping in at the natural expansion. The High Templar are the prime target. Scourge able to, looks like, did one of them land? No, they're getting picked off across the cannons. And Mulus looking to engage, they're able to land. Level one weapons being built. A Dark Templar trying to sneak into the six o'clock. The Overlord is there and there is also a Hydalisk and this is an incredible Sim City. So not gonna get anything accomplished here. And these Dark Templar are not gonna be effective for long because Phenomenized Carapace about halfway. So currently, Looking at six hatcheries, the Zergling going to go ahead and open up the Sutton Colony to get better mining. But another expansion being taken in the bottom left-hand corner, the Dark Templar is going to find that. There's an Overlord already in position, the Mutalisks running up to go ahead and engage. But at least Seriosity knows about it. At least he knows about it. But currently... Need to make a mental note to go ahead and get rid of that. But currently, Striker... In a very comfortable position, holding four bases. Seriosity behind in supply is not... He does have High Templar out on the field, but he's donated a lot of Zealots that haven't gotten a lot accomplished. The Dark Templar that have been out in the field really haven't gotten a lot accomplished. And Striker's defense has just been solid. Seven gateway count. In the midst of this, this is once again a delayed... Observatory to deal with potential lurkers. Lurker tech is not that far off from morphing. And that's going to be way ahead. Pylon being swapped in position. 
to go ahead and open up that front door. Let the army out a little bit easier. So Striker still feels a step ahead since some zealots streaming across. A lurker in position, or sorry, a in position to morph to lurker, but it's going to be a little bit of time, so there might be a window where these zealots are able to slip through. There's no, dr <coughs> excuse me, there's no drones here to kill, though. Maybe, so an overlord goes down. Still, that's two zealots that have been wiped out otherwise. Nice double pickup, though, by Seriosity. At least able to get something out of it. Still doesn't have a third base. I don't see... So he does have a lot of gateways to work with, but I don't see the robotic... Okay, there's the robotics facility. There's the observatory. But lurkers are already morphing on the front. Striker already sitting at four bases with a lot of drones. His economy has not been slowed down at all. Idolus already camping at the 3 o'clock to potentially block that out. And Seriosity invested pretty heavily in Corsairs and Dark Templar and really didn't get a lot for his effort. Maybe he can uh, work with an upgrade advantage. He does have that level 1 weapons. Level 1 weapons, however, is already here for Striker. And man, he's morphing a lot of lurkers on that front. Another hatchery being added on the bottom left -hand corner as well. So, Zealot marching in with this probe. Trying to plant a pylon down. Immediately should be cancelled. And this is kind of an afterthought for Striker to reinforce. Might even just be able to morph this lurker into... Yeah, it's just going to go ahead and morph that into a, a lurker. The Overlord's going to get picked off. But all of this is worth it to go ahead and delay this potential third. Mutilus counterattack, wandering in, picking off the High Templar while they're exposed. That's two High Templar. Three High Templar. F almost three High Templar. Is it going to be three? Three High Templar full of energy getting wiped out and Striker just controlling this. All those Corsair were out of position. Absolutely controlling this. Lurkers. So supply count even. Striker is a much better economy to work with, though. Spines to about halfway off. Seriosity is grabbing his third, though, critically. Uh, that's going to keep him in this match. He's a slight supply lead, but lost really the strong part of his army, which oftentimes gives map control and the ability to defend Zerg off, which is that size storm. He does have double forge running, if he can get that second upgrade uh, rolling. Has hit a level 1 weapons, level 1 armor uh, spike, which ooh, the Hydro. Sneaking behind the lines. The High Templar is exposed. The High Templar gets a Psy Storm off, but still gets picked off. And the Hydalus is trying to retreat in the midst of this. It looks like at least they lose their lives for the effort. But the Lurker line still there. Seriosity has been having a lot of trouble keeping his army cohesive. And kind of walking them out. Third base is up. Cannon's morphing in to go ahead and defend it, but Striker's happy to go ahead and give up that third location as long as he keeps this bottom left-hand corner and just the drone saturation that he has everywhere else. Second evolution chamber being grabbed. No move towards Hive Tech as of yet. Seriosity sweeping across, wants to go ahead and potentially put pressure in the bottom left. Striker has not yet seen it coming, so he doesn't see the army positioning just yet. I think he's got a good idea. Though, because he's already got Hydralisks and Lurkers potentially to absorb this attack. However, the reinforcements aren't moving across this portion of the map. Seriosity repositioning. I think both players are a little bit low. A single Lurker moving forward to go ahead and spot this. Seriosity diving across this middle lane. Overlord spots that army now. And Striker setting up just as the Zealots get there. Level 2 weapons is finished. These Dragoons do not trade well against this. They need that Psy Storm support. And a lot of them, yeah, too far forward, donating their lives. But in the midst of this threat of an attack, Seriosity is going to go ahead and grab his fourth at the 12 o'clock location. If he can get that up and hold it, might be able to signal smack. That Lurker doing a pretty good job. Striker sweeping in the left-hand corner and again maybe going for another pincer attack. A Seriosity, or maybe just a counterattack. No, I think it's going to be a pincer between these two sizable armies. The Zealots moving up. They're eat wow, dropped on top of that Lurker line. Some good size storm behind this. The Lurkers do get cleaned up, but these Lurkers have been very softened up, eating their own size storm. And the Observer is being picked off by Striker and size storm as well. So now the Lurkers, yeah, and there's GG from Seriosity. 
just realizing a, a fumble there. Losing those observers is critical. And Stryker wins set two. Thus far has just swept it. Uh, really solid play. Just showing how what a brutal, incredible player he is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.